Hello everyone, welcome back to Craft Aquatic, I'm Matt G. In this video, we'll be going over the two-week process of removing Bryopsis heraldry from the Craft Aquatic 120-gallon mixed reef using fluconazole. So I'm going to start right out by saying that um, I have actually done this before and I would say at this point we are at a mild stage where um, I could let this go a little bit longer and see what happens but I am getting a few places in the aquarium where the hair algae is growing to the point where some of the coral that especially the SPS coral that's trying to establish itself is not able to gain a foothold. It's not able to spread the way it likes to uh, before branching out. Last time I used just the straight powder. This time I'm gonna use the reflux just so I know exactly how much is going in since they give very specific directions on the container. And I'll go over that with you in a moment. But let me just show you some of the areas here where um, I'm having some issues with algae. As you can see in this spot, I have some algae growing just kind of around the colonies. Bryopsis is what I believe it to be since uh, running the fluconazole did take care of it last time. And if you inspect it closely, it's not just strands of hair, but rather uh, the branching pattern that you would typically associate with Bryopsis hair algae. So they can look very similar, especially in, their, uh, in the compact form where it's growing tightly the way it is in this aquarium. So over here you see it growing in a, in a little cave and then of course up by the dual overflows. I really like to increase the amount of nutrients going into the system. It's reaching about a year and a half old at this point and that's when you really want to start thinking about um, throughput, which I'll be going over in another video, and increasing uh, your nitrates slightly. In this aquarium, the nitrates have, they tend to be low. I've yet to decide whether that has to do with occasional cyano and hair algae outbreaks, or that the bacterial system is actually working this tank. So once I take this hair algae down, if, if the fluconazole treatment actually works, it will also give me a clue as to whether the hair algae was taking up all the nutrients or if the biological system itself is established. So let me just show you a few other areas here where I have some of the hair algae. And I'm gonna pick two spots this spot and this spot. And over the course of two weeks, I'll film these two spots and hopefully I'll be able to show you over time a reduction in these spots of algae. According to the instructions on the reflux bottle, we are to turn off the skimmer for the first three days. Uh, it says GFO is safe and we should remove activated carbon. Um, I made it easy on myself here. I just need to pull this tube. I will be leaving the skimmer running without the cup just to ensure that there is no shortage of oxygen in the entire system. I've grabbed some water from the aquarium, put it in this mixing container here. I'm gonna crack the bottle of reflux open and show you the capsules here. Uh, there's a little dust on them. I assume that is from maybe a capsule that broke up in a little, but that just may be something they put in there um, to keep them from sticking together. I guess we'll see when we open the next bottle. But either way, let's get these cracking open and, and uh, mix it all up. I should mention that uh, I've decided to put 11 of these into the tank. It's a 120 gallon aquarium as you already know. 
Uh, there's well over 10 gallons of displacement, so I'll probably be dosing a little more than the recommended amount. But from what I've read, that's okay to add a little more than they recommend. It's better to ensure that we get rid of all of the bryopsis rather than um, underdosing and just kind of getting rid of some of it. So hopefully that's what will happen. You guys will be there to watch uh, the whole time and we'll see together. So opening the second bottle of Reflux, uh, the powder is there. So I can only assume at this point that it was meant to be the whole time that it was a separating compound. This is the last capsule. And you know, they kind of suck to empty out into this water. It wasn't the easiest process, uh, but I think it's all in there. So we're gonna grab the spoon, mix it up. As I mentioned, I have done this before and I know from my past experience mixing fluconazole that it doesn't mix very well. It's, uh, it leaves some particles in the water. So you just do the best you can. You know, these big chunks here, they probably should be mixed in. And once you feel good about it, pour it in. Okay, YouTube, here we go. We're gonna pour in the mixed solution, fluconazole and reef water. I'm gonna go real slow. I'm gonna actually pour it into the outflow of the brand new Nero 5 circulation pump here. Since it puts out a lot of volume and introduce this solution. It's been about four days now, and as you can see, um, some of the hair algae is thinning out. Uh, here, it's a little bit difficult to tell, but before the hair algae was, was a, a stringier, longer, and a little bit denser. Um, so it's actually um, getting to the point where if I did stick my hand in there to grab a whole hunk of it, uh, it would pull off the rock much easier. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to give this treatment a little bit of help by uh, using my my LG mower vac, and um, we're going to remove a little bit of the LG from this area of the tank. You can see how how easily it comes off the rock. And for anyone who has ever used one of these, uh, the process can range from, from easy to very difficult, depending on how densely packed the hair algae is. So this is, man, this is a huge difference between the last time I used this and now. It's clear that the fluconazole treatment is in fact working. Here we have a rock that has some significant chunks of hair algae on it. Again, this is five days into the treatment um, and the algae is coming off very easy at this point. So I figured I just, since this rock was loose in the tank, I just pulled it out and I'm gonna give the treatment just a little bit of help here by removing some of the algae from some of the rocks in the system. I do a little scrub down with a toothbrush here, make sure this rock is nice and clean before I put it back into the tank.
Okay, here we are. It's day 14, and we are two weeks in uh, with this treatment. Things are looking great. There's about a quarter as much LG here, and it's continuing to thin. Um, and the treatment will continue to work because actually this video was shot two months ago, and this is what the tank looks like today. Uh, pretty much no LG left at all. The hair algae, the bryopsis, has completely died off, except for maybe a tiny little bit here and there. But what we are doing is keeping a light treatment of the fluconazole uh, in the system. Once a month, right after a water change, I'm putting the equivalent of one of those pills into the tank, just to make sure the bryopsis does not come back. Now we can start feeding the tank the way that it should be fed. Uh, these fish are fat and healthy and eating. I do not need to worry about feeding the algae now. The nutrients can go directly to the growing coral. And that was the point of this whole thing. So I hope that if you have a major algae issue in your aquarium, you don't break down the whole system, start over again. You try this first. It worked for me and it can work for you as well. As always, thank you for watching. We hope this video was helpful. Please do subscribe to our channel and leave some comments below. With your support, we're gonna make a lot more videos. Happy reefing.